Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Today is currently Friday, so I'm going to start a weekend vlog. I feel like I haven't done one in a long time and I just feel like vlogging. So this morning, as you saw, Freya and I went to the gym. We had a bit of a slow morning, which is nice. We don't set an alarm on Friday. So we just got up, we went to the gym, came home. I've gotten ready, had some brekkie. And now after I'm saying hi to you guys, we're going to head to her office, which is also a studio to do some content for the day because we've got some work to do. And then later on, I'm staying at Amber's because tomorrow morning we're going to a cool to be conscious little event in the gold coast which is like a morning sunrise meditation i think they do ice baths which i'm really nervous for because i've never done an ice bath before and even though we are in a heat wave that just sounds intense so we'll see how that goes but yes very early morning hopefully the weather's good i'm definitely excited though i feel like it'll be such a beautiful stunning way to start the day so that's what we're doing. We're going to stay at hers tonight so I don't have to get up at literally 3am. We're going to have a little sleepover tonight, which will be nice. And then a nice morning tomorrow. And then I don't know what else I'm doing for the rest of the weekend, but I'm going to bring you along nonetheless. But before we move into the rest of the day, I thought I'd unbox this with you because I just got this delivered yesterday. It's from Sendre. I love their jewelry. I've bought from them a lot of times before in the past, actually. And they very kindly sent me this stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is bring it to the studio today and film like a cool little reel because I'm really into filming Instagram reels at the moment, making like nice videos. So I think I might try and do that, but I'll show you what I've got. So we have four boxes. Look at the packaging. So nice. I did choose this stuff, but I've kind of forgotten what I got. I know I got a pair of hoops. Maybe I think this is a watch. Anyway, so let's open it and then we'll find out, won't we? These are the first pieces that I got. Some new gold hoops because the ones that I have right now are not nice. They're not good quality, so they've gone a bit yucky. So I needed a new pair of gold hoops. I love this size and like how thick they are. They're stunning. So that is the first thing. And then I also got, oh my God. Oh my God, I want to wear this today too. Oh, mm, I love this. So it's like a gold heart on a black band. Love that. And then we have, oh, a little gold bangle. Cause I just wanted like a bangle bracelet to wear every day. I've actually got another bracelet from them that I wear all the time. It's like a chain one, but this with the chain, how nice. So I got that. And then I also thought it would go really nicely along with this watch. They did send me stuff to size myself. I'm hoping it just fits, but I might have to get it resized. Look at that. That with the bangle, that's pretty. I like that. So that is everything that I got from Sendre. Thank you so much for sending that. Oh my gosh, that's literally stunning. I don't wear watches very often, but how classy will that look? Little watch, what's the time? Oh, so that's everything that I got. Just thought I would show you, film a cute little video with that today. But now I think Freya's just putting some outfits together. I've already packed all of mine that I need to get. It's actually so nice being able to go to a studio and get content and photos because it's, ugh, geez, my English did not leave my mouth just then. Um, it's so hot. I think today it's like 36 degrees and in Queensland, 36 degrees feels like 45 because it's so humid. Oh, it's only 32 right now, but it is boiling. We are in a heat wave at the moment and it's just been ridiculous. Like you can't leave the house. I'm going to get myself more organized. I might start editing this video. I don't know. Just wait for Freya and then I'll see you guys at the studio. Freya's coming to show me her new boots. <gasps> Stunning. They're from Bologna. Are they Bologna? No, Tony, oh, Tony Bianco. Tony Bianco. Oh my God. Are we ready? Yeah. We've made it to the studio. We have three air cons pumping at the moment because it's that hot in here. This is my first look. It's giving beachy grunge. And I like it. Or black fit and then I've got this Sandra necklace on as well and the bracelet which I thought suited the outfit bit of a random setup I'm currently trying to get some videos in this little mirror I've got all my jewelry on we had to resize these watches on our own it took us forever I think I still need to take a link out too because it's a bit loose but look how nice it looks got my earrings in I think the videos are going okay but just every time you film something it looks like it's fine and then you look at it back and it's corrected itself and you look cartoon 
it's very annoying so i'm almost thinking of buying an old phone just so i can do content on it which i know sounds dramatic but when it's your job and you want nice videos i just don't know what they they honestly ruined these cameras it's very annoying but i am nearly done we didn't do too much today there's probably more i could do but I'm feeling a bit lazy it's been a little while i am back at home and back in the top that i went to the gym in just kind of gross and i'm going to head off shortly because i'm meeting amber where i need to drop off my hire car because i'm dropping it off at 5 30 and then i don't have to hire another one because my parents are coming tomorrow and bringing their spare car so i'm going to be driving that around instead which is amazing because honestly i've spent thousands hiring cars and whilst it's been very handy and getting me from a to b it's getting expensive i'm over it and i don't know how long my car's going to take at range rover so it'll be really good to have a car and not have to keep dropping off cars here there and everywhere so that'll be good so Emma's gonna pick me up where I have to drop my car off we're gonna go for a little walk then we're gonna go to hers get some food have a chill do some work in bed probably and be up at 3 30 a.m which is very early but if I stayed here it would have been 3 a.m which makes a big difference at that time but it feels kind of weird going to stay at a friend's house like a little sleepover I feel like I haven't done that in so long unless I've been traveling and kind of had to stay at someone else's house so it feels a bit strange but It'll be nice to have some company because Freya's out for a birthday tonight anyway. Sorry. Yeah. Because I get a bit lonely sometimes. This week, I've actually kind of had a weird week. A weird, lonely week. I've been a bit anxious. And I feel like I've had... I don't know. It hasn't been a busy week. So I feel like I haven't had distraction. And I haven't been able to feel lonely previously. But not being as busy this week and having a quiet week, which I did need. I found myself feeling a bit lonely which is kind of depressing, but that's fine. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to continue editing for a bit. It's only 3.50 now. I've packed for tomorrow. I've got my bikini for the ice bath, which I'm terrified for, and an active wear set. I just need to pack my toiletries and my makeup, and then I'm done. What is my hair doing? I feel like other people could do such cute ponytails. Anyways, I'm going on shut up. This is my current situation. Bye, car. Oh my god, this car going past, I'm talking to myself. Uh, now I look really crazy. Yeah, that was my car. She did me well. Little Dixon. Now I'm waiting for Amber to pick me up. It's so like windy but hot. It's just hot air being blown at me. Oh, look at my hair. Amber's got me. Hello. Hello. I feel like an ant has pulled up my pants and gone somewhere it shouldn't. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the turkeys in the trees just sitting. How are they not breaking? Skinty queens. Honestly, what more could you want on a Friday night? I've got Ginny and Georgia playing, sombrero, living life. I've got my PJs on, my Frenchy PJs. Amber's in the shower right now. But we are ready for a 3.30 a.m. wake up. <laughs> Amber sleeps for 12 hours. Well, not for 12 hours, but a 12 hour long rain. I was about to say music, it's not really music, is it? It's raining. It's kind of nice. It's how to say sleep. I go to sleep like this. Yeah, I like that. So when is it when it's storming, do you not listen to your rain sounds? No, I always listen to it. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. We're in the Macca's drive thru Oh my god. I woke up at 3 a.m and didn't get back to sleep because I checked the time and I actually put a poll up on Instagram the other day asking if people wake up like 10 minutes 10 20 minutes before their alarm do they go back to sleep or savor every single moment because I can't go back to sleep I go back to sleep really mm -hmm. if it was 10 minutes that just doesn't count for me but apparently 20 minutes doesn't count either because I just sat on my phone at 3 a.m so a coffee is needed you know it's funny back in the day we'd be getting home at this time 4 15 now we're going to a meditation how the times have changed Grown. We have grown. <laughs> this is how I want to spend my weekends now. Not getting home at 5 a.m. from the club. And the next weekend it's just gonna end. <laughs> yeah. Oh look at that sunrise. It's a bit of a cloudy day, which is annoying, but it should still be nice. At least it's warm out, that's for sure. I interrupt this very aesthetic montage to let you know that I'm sweating in all crevices. Hey buddy! Bye! 
We've literally had to retreat back to the car because it's that humid out there. I'm dying. It That's feels fine. like you just went for an ocean swim and you haven't quite dried yet. That's what it felt like walking around. It says it's 27. 27. Absolutely does not feel like that. It feels like 45 at least. So we're cooling down and then we'll take our shoes off. We've got... What's Humidity, 82%. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's why it's hot. Whoa. Feels like 29. I wonder if it's like this every day here on the Gold Coast. I think it's just because it's about to rain. So true. We've got 50 minutes until our meditation. We're thinking we're going to do the meditation and then... I don't know if they're actually doing ice baths today. We're not sure, but we'll probably leave and go to get brekkie. Also, I think because every time I've brought my camera on the beach, it's broken because of the sand. So I think I'm just going to try and get some iPhone clips, see how I go, because I don't want to damage this camera. Actually, it was really good. That was really, really, really good. Eye-opening. Yes, very eye-opening. It really makes you like feel present. Yeah. It was really nice. I really enjoyed that. The breath work was intense. So we did eight minutes of breath work, which is basically consistent breathing. So in, out, no pauses, no nothing, constant breathing out of your scary. mouth, in through your mouth. It's kind of scary because your feet start to go like tingly, your hands go tingly, my face was going tingly. So I had to stop a couple times, but People do it for up to an hour which is constantly, so which is insane. And then you move straight into 15 minutes of meditation, which is really, really nice. Um, I definitely drifted off a lot during it because I, my brain is just racing constantly. So it's so nice to sit there and meditate, even though I do come out of it every now and then I catch myself thinking too much. I'll get better at it the more I do it. And me and Amber will definitely want to do more of them. They do them in Brisbane actually. so. We're gonna go yeah. and do those. Oh my god, and at the end, when we got in that big circle like you saw, there was a lady in the middle of the circle in a kundalini experience, which apparently is when you're breathing so much and so intensely that you get sent into like a DMT experience. So it's like an out of body experience. And she was just convulsing on the beach with the employee with her and people around her like, I guess helping her, I don't know. So that was interesting. But now we're heading to the milkman's daughter for some brekkie. Probably another coffee, because it's needed. Well, we got a turmeric and ginger shot. That's really nice. And what yum, brekkie is served. Got ourselves an avo toast. Holy dooly, I'm looking a hot mess. You should see my look right now. I'm about to go to the shops to pick up myself something for dinner, but it's been a little while since I last picked up the camera, so I thought I'd give you a little update. My parents came over. I have a vehicle, which is amazing, so I'm sorted for that until I finally get my car back, which will be God knows when. I am having a night to myself tonight. Everyone else in the household is going to Laneway the festival, and I was very tempted to go because the lineup is honestly insane, but... I'm sticking to my guns. I'm having a weekend in. I have plenty of social activities next week. I'm actually going to Sydney on Thursday for a Galentine's event with White Fox, which is going to be so much fun. So I'll vlog that if you want to see it. And then I have a friend's birthday on Saturday. So lots of things coming up so I can have a weekend in. I get really bad FOMO. Even if I don't really want to go, like I don't know if I want to go, I still get scared of missing out, which is very annoying. But I know I'll wake up tomorrow and be very, very happy that I had a nice weekend in. And I have been up since 3 a.m. So I'm probably going to pass out at 7.30. So I'm going to go to the shops now, get myself some nice dinner. I'm thinking of pasta and probably spend the night watching Ginny and Georgia and hanging out with Theo. We're just going to hang out, huh? Oh, goodness. Um, and yeah, that's my update. Good morning. Happy Monday. I have just come downstairs. I'm already halfway through. Poured myself a big old glass of water. I've been really thirsty today. And I think it's because I had Thai food last night. And I think it's full of sodium. And I think it makes you thirsty. Also, I'm trying to be a hydrated girly in 2023. Drinking more H2O. Prioritizing drinking water over soda or coffee or anything else. I even add which isn't the worst thing because you're still getting hydration. I add cordial to my water all the time to make it more interesting to drink, but I've just got to drink some water. So I've got myself a water. 
Um, but I didn't film anything yesterday. I probably should have because we had such a nice day. Saturday night, I actually ended up ordering a pizza and watching Ginny and Georgia having a nice little night with Theo. And then I woke up the next morning and went for an early morning walk and then met everyone at the markets and we strolled around there, got a coffee, came home. We watched the um, Pamela documentary, which is really good, really interesting. So I would recommend that if you're looking for like something to watch on Netflix. Um, and then we went and got an ice cream and then we ordered Thai food and watched Shrek the 4th. Just a really nice chill day. This morning I was supposed to get up at 5.30 and go to the gym with Freya. That didn't happen. I prioritized sleep. I knew I needed it. I still hadn't caught up from that 3 a.m. wake up. So I slept in a little bit this morning till like, it was seven, which is really good for me actually. And then I just took Theo for an early morning walk before it got too hot. And now I've got them ready. I'm going to head to the shops because I need to go and get my watch resized. I managed to get a couple links out the other day, but it's still a little bit loose. And I've been trying to do it all morning and my finger's literally black because I've been just trying to do it and trying so hard to, I don't know. It just won't work for me. So I'm going to go get someone to do it for me so I don't break it. Because I really love the watch and I want it to fit nicely and I don't want it to wobble around. So I'm going to get someone to do that. I also need to pick up a parcel and I also want to pick up another one of my favorite lipsticks. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and she is well on her way out. So I'm going to get some of that as well. And then later on, when Freya's done with work, we are going to get some content that we need. And that's pretty much my day. That is my Monday. Okay, I'm back from my first stop. I've come home first because Freya finished work and she's gonna come to the shops with me. But I picked up my parcel and it's from White Fox. So I'm thinking, what is going on with my hair? Um, I'm thinking this is my outfit for Thursday because I'm going to Sydney on Thursday just for the night for a Galentine's dinner. It's at the Shell House in Sydney, the cocktail bar, I wanna say, which I'm so excited for. So I picked out an outfit. I'm actually really glad I got it today because if it doesn't look nice on, I can hopefully get a new outfit in time, but I'm sure it will. So this is what I chose, a little card. We're excited to have you at our hot honey dinner. We hope you love our new collection and cannot wait to see you. Love from White Fox. I love them so much. I'm so excited for this. Oh yes, yeah. Look at that. So this is what I chose. It's like a black slinky dress with adjustable sleeves, sleeves, straps. And then it has like a fluffy bottom. And the reason I chose this was because I have a pair of shoes that will go perfectly. I don't know if it'll be overkill. I think it could be cute, but we'll see. Look. Are you kidding? These are from Bellini. So I thought this together would look really nice. So that is what I chose. I'm so excited to head to Sydney. Even though it's just for a night, quick little trip. I think I fly out at like... 10 a.m. and then the next day I fly home at 1. So quick little trip. We're staying at the Sofitel and it's just gonna be really fun to catch up with the girls and celebrate Valentine's. Valentine's. You don't need to have a boyfriend to have a good time on Valentine's Day. So very excited for that and I think this is gonna look really nice. So I'll try that on um, ASAP to make sure that it does fit nicely and everything. But yeah, that's sorted, so that's good. Now, I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here because it was a weekend vlog, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I haven't vlogged for a really long time and I do really enjoy doing vlogs. I just feel like not as many of you watch them. But I know whenever I watch YouTube, I way prefer vlogs. So let me know what you want to see. Maybe I'm not including some things that you'd like to see in my vlogs. Definitely open to constructive criticism and just options options suggestions i'm open to suggestions so do let me know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with me for the weekend give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and thank you so much for watching and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye